everyone. Um, today I will be testing out these. Oh no! Look what happened. Um, the powerful pack for me, which I made a video of a while back, a few weeks ago, maybe last week, a little bit before that. I don't know. I'm gonna try the the brush pen that came with it even though i've never used these before but for the sake of the video i'm gonna try this i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this honestly i am not comfortable using this just because and sorry for the fact that my table moves i did buy a new tripod but i don't know how to use it so i'm just gonna go with this setup for now i think i just don't like this brush i'm not gonna use this brush sorry i mean i give it a go out of the three I chose this and I still didn't use it. And there were three of them in the, in the bag. I'm using water in this cup. I usually keep my water in this water this bottle I got from a friend. It says my sticker on it. It's really cute and tiny. So this is Princeton Angular Shader. Let's continue. I'm gonna these in the same order I use them. I can't see nothing on the screen. Okay, let's do this. The way I use watercolor is like I like using more of the paint than the water if this is closer to that it's probably red Ooh. <gasps> wow let's see what's this called nectar nectar is beautiful i don't even know if these are in the same water that came in, they came in <gasps> these reds are wow um wow Purple, I think. It looks purplish. <gasps> wow! Oh my gosh! Look at these. Oh, <gasps> look at this one. It's shiny. Wow! I wonder what color it is. It looks purple, but the way the others are, none of them look like those colors. Yet. I got from them. So let's see really like the colors themselves but i would love to have these in pants because oh my god look at these colors <gasps> oh well, you couldn't see it you that wow this one look at the way it looks it's like space Wow, look at this color. Next. Oh, this is pretty light. Or maybe it's not just coming off. What is this called? Sky blue. Mm, okay. Maybe that is how it's supposed to be. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Next. Oh, it's that, it's that shiny color. It's that shiny one. What is it called? Forget me not blue. Um, okay. Okay. Look at that. It looks blue after putting water on it, but it's so shiny and purple. <gasps> wow, I like this color. I said that about all the other ones too, but this one is really pretty. Oh my god. 
next. I should really name these next to the thingy because now I'm like, oh my gosh, I like these colors. I was thinking of just leaving them as is. But, thing is, the color names are underneath. And every time I need to use them, I will have to turn them around to see them. I would love these in a pan. <gasps> Wouldn't that be cool? They're so vibrant. Oh my god. Okay, I put them in order of the way I swatch them. Wait, when I have pans, I swatch them in that way, and this, the pans obviously stay in those order. But this, I cannot because they're papers. So, let's see what I can do. Mm -hmm. Since I have this right here, I'm gonna redraw my octopus maybe. This is in purple, so let's see. Just for the heck of it. Let's see, what colors should I use? Maybe not purple. Reds? Should I use reds? I'm not using any reference for now. So let's see. Mm, let me start with a light color. This one. I hope these are in the same order that I swatched them. Because otherwise, what's the point of lining them up like that? But let's see. I believe I'm correct. Oh no, I don't like the way it looks. It looks like instead of a octopus, it looks like a squid. <sighs> yeah, I don't like the <clears throat> because they don't they're paper and they don't stay still. And I'm used to like just kind of I'm not very gentle while picking up the paint. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Honestly, don't know what I'm doing. Just go with it. Let's see. As you can tell, I really don't know what I'm doing right now. Maybe I need the red to go in. Maybe I should t pick up more red. Oh, 
Ooh, look at that. It obviously looks very messy. I'm just playing around. But I like the way these colors look. Mm, what should I do? How about a cup? Oh, you can't even see that. Sorry. And this one, the one that looks like outer space. Ooh. Is that a cup? What is that? <laughs> Wonky cup. With a wonky handle. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? Um, I mean, I like, really like these colors, but I think I'm gonna use my fine liners on top. Kuratake is like Millennium 03. I'm gonna see what I can do with this. Save it. I'm just kind of going with whatever I feel. So this is obviously not going to turn out great. Bear with me. I wonder how much the table is moving. I'm so sorry about that. I'm going to try to figure out my tripod. I think I'm getting a little more <laughs> loose in front of the camera just talking to the camera it's awkward <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight where are you i'm gonna move it from here to the middle usually i would trace over the lines that the watercolor me but I didn't intentionally use the lines that way and use the paint brush that way so I'm not sure if I can go in with that let's see I'm honestly not sure what where this is going I was thinking I might do a separate piece for this but I think I'm gonna leave it as this and this is probably my last second last powerful pack box oh no I missed this one so I made a separate one over there oh no oh no what did I do I'm gonna do okay I'm gonna do this with this one and see I'm gonna put these together okay Let's see and I'm gonna bring this out just because it looks like it's from like the back and I like that
Mondului. The P Nicholas's Peerless Transparent Watercolors. And honestly, I love that. Autumn Shoes is a Pittsburgh based artist who specializes in watercolor. Her dreamlike water features vivid colors and shadowy. Oh, it's a girl. I didn't know that. Okay, so I mean, I love these colors overall. I just don't like that they're like, look at them. Wow, they're beautiful. Just look at the color palette. <gasps> Beautiful. I just don't like that they're in paper form. And I should use a separate thingy for that. And a uh, separate brush because I did not know how to use this. I don't usually use these water fillable brushes because I can't control the amount of water that's on the tip. Like, I don't know how much water is going to come out, how much water is inside, and, like, how much water is going to show up over here. So, like, for me, it's easier to use a normal brush because I know how much water is on on the brush, if that makes sense. I hope you liked what you saw. I was going to actually do a whole, uh, an actual piece with this. thing is, I'm really nervous right now <laughs> for some reason, even though I shouldn't be for filming and the lights going away so it is what it is for today and bye bye thank you for watching